This is a specific biofilm in a case of uh, periodontitis, in this case a pregnancy periodontitis. Uh, what we see in the middle is um, an amoeba, a tamoeba gingivalis, uh, surrounded by a lot of uh, bacteria, spirochetes and uh, vibrios. And we also see some um, PMN's uh, white cell, um, broken white cell. It's like a pus uh, formation. And you see the amoeba uh, going up uh, slowly with the uh, pseudopods. Uh, we clearly see the uroid on the lower portion of the amoeba. And we can see a little uh, hollow in the center of the amoeba. Now we see some more uh, parasites here. Uh, one dead, two rounded parasite. Here again, two parasite, one on the lower part, one on the upper portion. Um, they always are surrounded by this uh, bacterial activity, uh, long filament and uh, some more uh, dead parasite, one, two parasite again, and some filaments, long filaments. Uh, now we have a picture of, uh, we mainly can see three parasites. Um, we can distinguish uh, very well the uh, ectoplasm from endoplasm. Uh, and the, this middle parasite, you see on the left side you have the uh, endoplast portion, on the right side the ectoplast portion, and under and uh, on the upper part you see two other amoebas uh, running around. Uh, still some spirochetes on the right side, upper right side is a neutrophil PMN cell, white cell. So you see in this uh, pregnancy periodontitis, uh, there is much activity. So, um, despite sometimes uh, the meticulous care done by uh, many mothers, and despite regular visits to the dentist, um, dentists rarely proceed to uh, this gingival biofilm analysis. So they say, uh, come and have visit to the dentist, but then just doesn't look at this. So he let it go, make some cleaning, and then it's still you still have this uh, awful um, biofilm, including uh, bacteria, parasites, and uh, pus. So what I think is it is really, in a way, odious for patients who in good faith proceed to their uh, regular checkups and not informing patient of uh, this parasitic infection is a major breach to uh, women's right and uh, to health quest. I mean, um, amoebas like Entemoeba gingivalis um, swarm under the gum uh, without saying to the patient. So see how this one on the left side is moving around like a larva. Uh, this really is in an uh, unacceptable situation. It is really, really a true medical nonsense. Uh, see how it is active. And in this case, patient had problem with the children and even uh, after some time, patient themselves, she had problem with lungs and a really serious problem. So retain this specific infection and formation appears as a significant misconduct from dental community knowing the consequences for mother and child. So ask your dentist microscopic examination of your dental plaque. Uh, this is really part of an ethical health imperative. 
So see, you have on the left side two amoebas, one going down, one smaller one on the lower side. Um, still a lot of pus. See how those parasites are moving. Nobody knows. The patient doesn't know. This really is incredible. So I let you watch and see how awful it is to keep this without uh, saying to the patient. We really believe this has to change and microscope examination should be really a big part of a periodontal examination just as uh, x-ray for dental carries decay. So 